Vlog number 52, Saturday, December 9th, 2023, 7.38 a.m. Currently watching sports and a college game day comes on at 8. I don't know why it doesn't come on at 7 like it normally does, but 8 o'clock college game day, they're at Army, Navy. Maybe we'll talk about the Grizz game, I don't know, but man, what a game yesterday. But today is not going to be a very long vlog because at 10 o'clock, I'm going to Costco with my parents to get stuff. Then we're going to lunch, and then for the rest of the day, I'm going to be doing stuff, so I'm not going to be able to pick up this vlog until the night. This is what I normally do on Friday, but since they did not, we're not able to come. So just for now, I'll sit here. Then at 8 o'clock, I'll watch college game day. Get this day started. All right, it's 8 o'clock. College game day is just now starting. Maybe they'll talk about the Grizz. Who knows? Talked about it on SportsCenter last night, so maybe college game day will. Well, we're talking about the FCS games. They at least mentioned the Grizz one yesterday, but of course, we don't see any highlights or anything. That's unfortunate. They just said they're going to show the game between Montana and Furman. Let's go. Let's do it. As Pat McAfee just said, South Dakota State may be on a 26 game winning streak, but they're going to have a problem if they run into this Grizz team. Love seeing the highlights of that game. What a game it was. All right, it is now 9 o'clock. I'm still watching college game. I'm currently editing the Grizz video. I recorded so much. I just put all the clips together. It won't be this long, but 50 minutes. Yikes, I got to edit a ton of stuff out to make this an actual shorter-ish video because 50 minutes is not acceptable. Huge, huge news. The Ducks lose Bonings, but they get Dylan Gabriel. They're talking about the FCS games now. This game starts like in, like what, four minutes? North Dakota State or South Dakota will play either one of those. It's going to be very, very interesting. South Dakota State's a powerhouse. I don't think we're going to beat South Dakota State if we play like we did yesterday, but maybe South Dakota State loses on the way there. Who knows? All right, it's 624. Welcome back to the vlog. This is the first time I'm picking up the camera in a while. Went to, did a ton of different stuff today. Went to eat, went to the mall, went around, just drove around, went to taco time, went to the movie theater. We did a ton of stuff. We went to the ping pong tables underneath the bridge at Carrots Park, but I am now back. They just left, so I'm picking the vlog back up, watching the Heisman show. They're going to release them at about 650, but that's not all that comes on today, folks. The Los Angeles Lakers take on the Indiana Pacers. And the in-season tournament championship. This is our chance. An in-season tournament championship. The first one. Let's go win this thing, Lakers. I'm going to put my Lakers jersey on. I'll turn the Lakers game on the iPad while the Heisman show comes on. And then it, and then once the Heisman show ends at 7 o'clock, I will turn on the Lakers game. Hopefully we can get this win. All right, the Lakers game just started. Not a good start at all. Leaving a guy wide open for three Lakers. This Indiana team is red hot on offense. If you don't play defense, you're not going to win this game, Lakers. Come on. Let's go, Reddish. Nice move. Nice shot. All right, here we go. It is time for the Heisman Trophy winner. I really want it to be Penix. I think he should be the winner, but I know it's going to be Jaden Daniels. I'm just really annoyed that a three-loss guy, then the team that's playing the Citrus Bowl is going to win the Heisman. I just don't like that. I would I would go with Penix, but it's probably going to be Jaden Daniels, unfortunately. Is it going to be Jaden Daniels? Daniels? Yes, it is. I don't like that, man. I mean, you have a three-loss team, and then that's in the Citrus Bowl. I mean, what is the point of the Heisman? I just don't understand it. Sure, you put up good numbers, but it doesn't translate to success. And isn't that what all that matters? But Jane Daniels wins it. Not a surprise, but there's your Heisman Trophy winner. Look at that. The fan vote is different. Interesting. Very interesting. That was not very close. I had a feeling Jane Daniels was going to win, but Michael Penix, I mean, that's kind of a blowout. That's honestly the four I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be him, Penix, Nix, and then Harrison. So I got that right. All right, it's 714. Just made the popcorn move over the bed. Got my pot from taco time. All my snacks are over there. Watching the Lakers game. They're up 34-29. The first quarter just came to an end. Good good start. Three quarters to go, and we're in-season tournament champs. I would love, love for the Lakers to get it done. Game just started, though. Going to sit here. Continue editing the video. Update you at 8 o'clock. All right, it's halftime. Lakers up 65-60. One half away from an in-season tournament championship. The absolute worst thing that the Lakers could have ever imagined just happened. Anthony Davis is injured once again. AD has been absolute dominant this game. If he goes out, the Lakers are done. The Lakers just made their first three of the game with a minute left in the third quarter, and yet they're still up by nine. That shows how good the team this Lakers can be. They don't have to be making threes to win games. That is impressive. One for 11 now. Nine-point lead for the Lakers. Play defense and win this game. Here we go. This is going to be the final play. Shot, got it. That's just absolute luck right there. That is absolute luck. It's 8.55, just moved over to the couch. Lakers are up 98-94, eight minutes to go. Come on, Lakers, get this thing done. You've been leading all game long. 
Do not lose this game. AD has absolutely dominated. 34 points, 18 rebounds. Lakers on an 8-0 run. They're up by 11 with four minutes to go. Finish this thing out, Lakers. Let's do it. Anthony Davis is on an absolute another level tonight. They can not stop him. The Lakers up by 16 points with three minutes to go. They just can't stop AD. He has been an absolute monster today. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. The Los Angeles Lakers have done it. The first ever in-season tournament champions will go to the Los Angeles Lakers. Everybody's going to get $500,000. The NBA Cup is headed to Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Lakers are in-season tournament champs. They did it. They did it. The in-season tournament champions, the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis was just a monster day. 41 points, 20 rebounds, 4 blocks. Was dominant on defense as well. Anthony Davis, absolute domination today. Give us that NBA Cup. Yeah! Yeah! First ever NBA in-season champs. That is unbelievable. That is awesome. Come on, Adam. Give that MVP to LeBron James. Give it to him. Give it to him. Right now, let's do it. LeBron James, give it to him. Give it to him. Yeah, LeBron, he did it. This guy has done almost everything there is to be done. He's won MVP. He's won champions. He is now the first ever NBA in-season tournament MVP, LeBron James. LeBron said it very wisely. Records will be broken, but you can never break a record to be the first to do something. No matter what happens in this in-season tournament, the Los Angeles Lakers will always be remembered as the very first team to get it done. The Los Angeles Lakers, final time of the 2023 NBA in-season tournament champs. Just turned on the Idaho game, a 52-yarder. It is no good, he missed. Special teams in the playoffs have been a complete disaster. That's it for the first half, Idaho leads 16 to 14. I'm gonna put it on the big screen, and I'll update you again at 10 o'clock. We're gonna recap the Friday game between Montana and Furman, let's do it. All right, everybody, it's 10.05. Normally, this is where I would say this is the it for the vlog. But this is not going to be it for the vlog. However, I'm going to take a huge, huge break and a stop. I'm going to go sit on my bed for like two hours like I normally do at night. I'm going to turn off the lights, plug in those lights, and do what I normally do at night. However, when this game does end, which might be around midnight, I'll pick this vlog back up, talk about how this game ended, and that will be the official end of the vlog. So I'm not going to vlog anything for the next two hours. Just know I'll be sitting in the bed, lights off, watching the Albany game. And once that ends, I'll let you guys know, and that will be the vlog. Albany with the first down. It seals the game. For the Great Danes, they're gonna run it. He's got a first down and more, and Albany has gone into the Kibbe Dome, and Idaho's gonna go down. And that is it, Albany is into the semifinals. Idaho is gonna try a miracle. They're gonna try to get a field goal now, get an onside kick, and then get a touchdown. It's a very, very unlikely, but hey, who knows? You gotta make the kick first from 50 yards, and he nailed it. 50 yards at 30 to 22. Idaho did get an onside kick against the Grizz before it was called back, so definitely not impossible, but it's looking like it is impossible. Can Idaho get some magic, or is it too late? Here we go, onside kick. There's the kick. Albany gets it, and it is now official. The Albany Great Danes are onto the semifinals to take on the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. And with that, that will do it for the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed today, and I'll see you tomorrow.